Welcome in. It is day 314, and you're speaking with the Meeples Champion. And today we're going over a classic game. I wish this is one I could just have pulled off the shelf. Unfortunately, I don't have any classics in my collection these days, and my family actually didn't have the game anymore. The game is called Yahtzee. Now, Yahtzee is a really the original roll and write. The concept of the game is that you get five dice and you roll them out. And then you're trying to pick on your sheet things that you're going for. You're trying to go for a small straight, a large straight. You're trying to go for three of a kind. You're trying to go for four of a kind. You're trying to go for five of a kind. And you're trying to go for some kind of a combination. There's a bunch of things you can go for. So you'll pick three up to three dice. Actually, I should say you can pick anywhere from one all the way up to five dice. But you pick as many dice as you would like to continue to keep. And then the rest of the dice you roll. Now you look at your dice again. Are you good? No? Do the same thing. And you do it one more time. You get up to three rolls. And once you're done, you then take whatever the dice are you have, and you fill out your area. Now what's interesting is, you don't simply check something off. You'll go in and say, okay, well the large straight has to be five numbers in a row. That can be one, two, three, four, five, or two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to have to go in, and you're going to have to count the numbers and add that score to it. Meaning, a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the better option as it's 5 points higher than a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you write down your number, the next person goes. You keep going around and around doing this, and you're trying your best to try and get to the point where you're going to be able to fill out your whole sheet. Now at some point, somebody's going to get the 5 of a kind. That's a Yahtzee. And, you know, they yell out Yahtzee. It's always fun. And when the game ends, you're going to add all your scores up and see who has the highest number. Now, there are certain check marks you can get along the way. You know, first person to complete a bunch of things might get a bonus of some type. Uh, first person to complete the whole sheet might get a bonus of some type. Meaning, sometimes it's worth taking the hit and getting a smaller score early instead of simply saying, I'm going to skip this and keep trying. Because you're trying to get the potential score so that your bonuses kick in and you go okay well you beat me in the individual scores you got me five points here because you had the higher straight you know i had five of a kind threes you had five of a kind sixes so you got me with another you know 15 points there it might add up that all of a sudden you might hit a couple bonuses and that's how you end up making your comeback and see who wins well that's the game but why don't we jump in let's talk our seven categories and see where this game lands for us <laughs> Alright, well, so when it comes to that art, I mean, this is an old school box. All it is is a name and the image. I mean, there's not much, much here. And when it comes to your actual art for the game, it's a pad of paper and it's dice. There's no art. There's nothing here to go look at. It, it's a classic game, but it's a classic game before they seem to care about that kind of stuff. It's a thumbs down. <laughs> Components. So I don't know if newer modern Yahtzees have finally realized to put in the dry erase pen and, uh, and and replace the pad of paper, but I have to go from what I've seen for dozens of different types, which is a pen or pencil with a pad of paper or with five dice. The dice are great. No complaints. They're not going to fall apart. They're not crumbling. They're not, you know, you're not going to lose your pips. They're, you know, embedded and you're all fine there. And then your paper, I mean, I've never run out and I've played a lot of Yahtzee. So, you know, you're usually pretty fine with that. Even if you did, you know, it's not hard to go and just get yourself an additional pad, especially these days. You can just print it off offline. That being said, uh, I think that these are fine. I'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Your price. So the price is probably somewhere in that 20 to 30 range. It's available. You're more likely just going to go to a Savers or a Goodwill or something like that and find this cheap. I mean, I almost never go and don't see a Yahtzee on one of their things for like two bucks. But you could still go find this in regular stores. It's definitely going to be found in stores like Walmart and Target and Barnes and Noble. It's online like crazy. There are dozens of different versions to get. So it's available. It's not that expensive. Thumbs up. Your difficulty. This is one of those games that kids, beginners enjoy. 
I think that, you know, older people really enjoy Yahtzee. I think that younger people can enjoy Yahtzee. I think that your experience near experts, it can get a little bit more of an issue because it's not that much of a game here. If you're one of those people that loves a good roll and write, sure, Yahtzee's fine, but there are loads more these days. And if you're an expert, you don't tend to go in the direction of roll and write. And if you do, you're probably going into a direction of roll and write that's one of those like roll and write train games. Not my style. I like to have more number based, but some people love those. That being said, if you've got your kids and your beginners who are happy with this, it's probably enough already. I'll give it a thumbs up. Replayability. I haven't even played this game in like, I don't know, 10, 15 years, probably longer. And I still can say that Yahtzee is probably one of my like top 10 most played games ever. When you are a beginner or a kid and you're getting into a game and you have Yahtzee, Yahtzee is a game that the whole family can play. You can play a bunch of times in a row. It's not difficult to get to the table. And when you get older, it's a game that you still can think of as one to introduce your kids through or family members or friends who don't want to play bigger games. So it's not hard to get to the table and it's not too long. It's got to be a thumbs up. Keys to victory. There are no keys to victory here. It is pure luck. What did you roll? Even your decision on what you should go for. Oh, should I should I keep it simple and go for the stuff that's smaller so I can get the It's the same it's the same luck value. What was your initial roll? You know, you don't need to go for the bonus if you rolled and your first roll was four sixes. You can go, all right, I'll just re-roll the extra die twice. I either got four of a kind six or I'll have five of a kind six. And that's it. So to me, there is no keys to victory here because there's just, it's all up to the luck. And yeah, you can mitigate that luck by making sure not to get greedy and go for, oh, well, I rolled a you know, a two, three, four, six, six. So I'm going to re-roll the two, three, four to try to get more sixes. Or I could re-roll the one, six to try to get a five. Or re-roll both sixes to see if I can get a five and a one or a five and a six. There's options there. So for me, there's no real keys to victory here. It's got to be a thumbs down. Is the game unique? Way back in the day, this was a unique style game. What's a roll and write? I'd never even thought of that as a term. I just thought Yahtzee was Yahtzee. But today, I mean, I own probably seven different roll and writes. I've played dozens. There are so many roll and writes, and Yahtzee's really fallen behind as it's so basic. So for me, this is not a unique game. Thumbs down. Overall, what do I think? It's a classic. It's one that don't be afraid to introduce to your kids. Don't be afraid to play still. It's, it doesn't have to be the best game in the world for you to enjoy it. And I can enjoy a game of Yahtzee. That being said, this isn't one I'm jumping at to add to my collection. I think there's plenty of games today that can take its spot as an introduction game and that I'd rather teach my daughter to play when she's ready to start playing games. So for me, I'm not adding this to my collection, but also don't feel shamed. If you like a game that's like this, just because something's simple or old doesn't mean it's bad. So don't be afraid to pick it up if you're interested. If you like Rollin' Rights and you'd like to toss this in your collection, go for it. Well, it has been day 314, and we've been speaking about the game, Yahtzee. And you've been speaking to the Meeple's Champion. Like, share, subscribe, and check down below in the description. I'll be adding in an Amazon link in case you want to get this game for your collection. And don't forget to join me on Board Game Arena, where you can friend me, ask me to play games. I try to be on a couple times a day. Until next time. I'll talk to you tomorrow.